This morning I get my car because I have to go to West Sedona and do a few chores. I have to stop by a property management company. I have to pull a sign out of the ground. I have to go by the office. And so this is the beautiful view I have on my drive to work every day. And if you decided to relocate to Sedona or to retire in Sedona, this would be your view uh, when you're driving to work or to shop or that kind of thing. But the first thing I noticed was, wow, take a look at that film, that foggy film smoke. What is it? Is Sedona on fire again? Is there a forest fire in Sedona? Actually, the fire wasn't in Sedona last summer, but it was close, and that's where we saw this hazy smoke all over the place, and you could even smell it, but I didn't smell it in the village of Oak Creek, so I got on the phone with my friend, and they decided to check it out while I was driving, and we found out there's a controlled burn. So look, even as we get closer, it's a layer of fog in the air, the layer of smoke, and from such a tiny controlled burn, it's so obvious to us residents of Sedona that something is up. And when I got home later, I see in next door, app everybody's posting what's going on is there a fire so this is what we get with the controlled burn now i don't want to say controlled burns are bad because actually controlled burns are good because they trim down uh excess weeds or whatever it is so that if there is a fire next summer that it is less likely to go rogue and to get out of hand um, if there's controlled burns that happen periodically. Otherwise, you have a massive fire and it gets out of hand very quickly and you can't control it. But just look at that layer of smog in the distance. It's really uh, surprising how a controlled burn can make that much difference in the air quality in Sedona. And now still the air quality is not horrible. It's just noticeable when we are used to such clean, pure air here that um, we can see right away something is up. Now look to the left and actually, I'm sorry, look to the right um, layer of haze. And here in this shot, you can tell it's more towards the left. Now I'm getting closer to uptown Sedona. I'm getting close to Talakapaki. On the right hand side, you can see the leaves are turning or have turned already on the left. You have a lot of the trees that go near the creek. Those almost have turned already and are starting to fall to the ground. But we do have a lot of trees like you're seeing here on the right. This um, They're yellow and they're ready to fall uh, and it's beautiful. And I'm going through the roundabout now that goes to Schnebley Hill Road. If you take Schnebley Hill Road, you get a, a beautiful, but it does get kind of rough after a while on Schnebley Hill. Now, okay, now I'm at Talakapaki, uh, very close. I'm crossing the, the bridge that goes to the creek. All the leaves are either turned or they've fallen off, except for the ones that aren't going to fall, of course. So to my left is Talakapaki, and to my right is Talakapaki North, where there are a few other shops. And um, I can still see the haze. I can still see it. And in directly in front of me, I see the haze from the burn, from the controlled burn. But it's, you know, it's still a beautiful drive. Now I'm about to get to the intersection of the Y. Now this is usually where all the traffic starts. Today it's mid-November and it's a Wednesday, so traffic is not that bad. But yet still, I'm about eight cars before I'm getting into the Y, um, into the roundabout that will take me to West Sedona and I'm able to navigate through that. So if I would go to the right, I'm going to Uptown Sedona. And if I would continue on past upside Uptown Sedona, I would get to Flagstaff. And that is a beautiful drive, but I'm not going there today because today I'm going to work. And now I'll be going directly into West Sedona. So I wanted you to see the view from here. Still, those aren't clouds really so much. Uh, that's leftover smog and smoke from the burn and passing the post office on the right. And I'm just getting into West Sedona and definitely still seeing that layer of smoke from the controlled burn. But like I say, it's okay that they do the controlled burn because that will keep us safe down the line the next time we have a real fire like we had last summer. We had fires towards Williams and we had fires towards uh, Pine Pace and Strawberry. We were kind of in the middle. 
So I decided I'm going to turn into the parking lot of Mariposa. Mariposa is one of those elegant restaurants uh, in the early part of West Sedona. And the reason I turned in here is because there's a great view and I want you to see um, part of the scenery where again the red rocks are visible but they got that smoky haze to them and smoky haze here worst case scenario is probably better than a smog free day if you leave in phoenix but like when i'm looking right here i'm like wow look at this layer of fog right here it's very noticeable the layer of smoke and layer of fog here in Sedona just from the controlled burn. Uh, I could see that film uh, the second I got into my car. So uh, that's what's happening. Don't be scared if you're in Sedona and you see this. And now I'm gonna head further into West Sedona. And it is a nice day. I'm actually, I made a mistake here and I turned on Inspiration Drive to do a U-turn and look what the heck is going on here. And they put a Starbucks in here. And so now these idiots here, right, they're not moving out of the way, say I want to go to my house on inspiration. No, they're just parked there. I got to back up three times, make the 15-point uh, U-turn because, ooh, a Starbucks is here now. And um, everybody has to have their coffee or they're going to die. You know, we're here in a, a place you don't think we'd go someplace that's not a national chain. We have to put a Starbucks here and disrupt traffic everywhere. So that's what that's all about. So now I'm going to head up Mountain Shadows Drive to do a little bit of business. But I wanted you to see that even today at the worst air quality day of Sedona because the control burns, it's still beautiful here. It's still has beautiful homes a beautiful drive nice peaceful tranquil feeling and that's why i love living here now this area you will often see wildlife i mean there are a lot of javelinas here and coyotes but this morning i was on the next door app and i saw one of my neighbors posted a picture outside of their door in the middle of the night it was probably super early in the morning a herd of deer went walking down the road so if you're living in phoenix your ring doorbell is going to go off because someone's stealing a package off of your doorstep but here the ring doorbell camera goes on because you have a small herd of deer walking in front of your house uh, down the street <laughs> or maybe some coyotes taking a walk sniffing around your yard or more likely especially in this neighborhood right here in mountain shadows uh, there is a herd of javelina that come by quite often and corral the neighborhood looking for food um, again worst air quality day in sedona is still better than the best air quality day in phoenix and then take a look of course ahead you'll see clouds bad air quality and um but it's still beautiful here now i just want you to know this house on the right hand side i i came to pick up my for sale sign you guys weren't fast enough to buy this sign so we have a long-term renter in here but that's actually really good news for sedona because it's hard to find long-term rentals short-term rentals yeah they're everywhere if you want to go um airbnb for a weekend we don't actually like that though i mean the neighbors are complaining they will topple the garbage full on a weekend at airbnb and then next thing you know the garbage is spilled over and javelina are rummaging through it so that's you want to know why we don't like short-term rentals that's the kind of reason why so we have a long-term rental and that's good but again air quality right now not so good but still beautiful here in sedona and if you're ever interested in seeing a home or just seeing a list of the homes for sale in case you want to retire next year or perhaps move here buy a vacation home i'd be glad to send you an email with that just give me a call an email a text and i will get back to you now i do sell real estate here but i am primarily in sedona and verde valley so verde valley would be uh cottonwood cornville Clarkdale, Camp Verde, and Rimrock. I also sell in Flagstaff and the cabin towns like Munns Park, uh, Mormon Lake, Stoneman Lake. And so again, if you're looking for a cabin, I can help you with that as well because I started out as a cabin specialist. Now, before I go, I want to say my channel here is Living in Northern Arizona. If you like the video, please put the like button on, um, subscribe. I would love it if you would subscribe and I hope to see you back here again on my channel next week.